G'day punters, this video is going to be about the um, water system that I've had installed in the Land Cruiser. Now when I say the water system, I'm not talking about the engine cooling system, I'm talking about something that isn't standard, it's been fitted aftermarket. When I start up in the cab again, I've got a water pump switch, this one here, turn it on and off, and it uh, operates the water pump. Like the air compressor, the um, fusing and the relays are up in the engine bay in similar sort of locations as I showed for the air compressor. I'll just now show you where the, rest of the water system is and what I use it for. Well, probably the best way to show you where the water tank is is have a look across the top of the rear wheels across the chassis. And that's the water tank there. Let's see, it runs from one side to the other almost from the cab, back a fair bit. It's about 90 litres in capacity, so it holds a bit of water. It's fairly well positioned as far as weight is concerned. It's over the rear wheels. Yeah, most of it's over the back of the rear wheels, but it's better than it would be otherwise. So from there, I have a filler. The filler's located at the front of the water tank, and you can just see a, a white PVC fitting in there. And another smaller hose this side which is white that's a breather they come up the side here that's the filler here that's just a screw on and a um, breather with a little bit of gauze on it made up this bracket to fit in to hold it all together instead of just having it bolted up against the canopy um, generally i don't use that filler i use a tap out the back and just plug in the hose and uh, wait till i get a little bit of water out the breather now I'm at the, the back of the tank, and you can just see it there. There's an outlet where my finger is. A hose coming out, I've put a T-piece in there. And one side goes out to gravity-fed tap. Just a normal 12 mil um, plug-on, plug-off uh, fitting. And a simple opening and closing mechanism. Now, generally I fill up through that if I've got a tap and I just plug it in, open the tap up and fill it up until I get water out the breather. And the, that's it. The other side of that hose, that T-piece comes out through here up to the inlet of my water pump. And that's my water pump there. So I have an inlet and an outlet, which is this hose down here. It just does a big loop, comes back around to that fitting there. I'll show you it shortly. Right, the water outlet there. That's a pressurized outlet. And what I mean by simply by that is that there's a check valve in there so if there's water pressure in there it won't come out. It actually requires a little valve to be pushed in with the male nipple. That hose is fitted in um, and the pump's running. I've got a um, shower hose, just comes up and a simple on off, little um, quick release clamp there. You might think uh, if that's a shower, I'm gonna get a lot of water in there perhaps. Probably right. Um, what I've got is just a little bit of plastic cover with some Velcro couple of clips down this side and down here and that sits over that part of the canopy and drops down below the toolbox there I've also got a tarp made up and I'll show you that in a separate video it slips into the sail tracks all the way along all the way around and it's got a zip down this side, which is a door in and out, a couple of little plastic mats to go on the ground, and yellow light or white light if it's night time. So there might be a, um, depending where you are, a shower with uh, ambient temperature water. Or it's going to be bloody cold depending where you are. Now if it's cold, I've got a um, I've 
got a rain man shower it just sits inside this box that's um just like a fire extinguisher I suppose sort of uh, you heat it up and make sure that the um, relief valves open or the it's on its side at the moment that's unlocked until the water gets up to about you know temperature that you're comfortable with then close it up pump it up just like a weed pump this shower rose will extend up it's telescoping and you have warm water um, I've had a bracket made that's the bracket there and that's for a little gas burner that I um, used to heat the rain man now the little gas burner I use for the um, rain man is just a little butane tank and it's a gas mate burner that sits inside that bracket that I showed you that I had made up and um, just use that just to heat up the water I use it, also use it to heat up water for coffee in the morning as well so it's pretty handy <laughs> 